So, I talked about this on my channel before. Part of the reason why we're using Mesh-tastic nodes is because we know that there is no chip level or hardware level or firmware level compromise on these specific chips. This is gonna be the Lilligo T-Beam or the Rock uh, kits. If you know of hardware level compromise on the Lilligo T-Beam that could be done through a man in the middle attack, please let me know and actually point out exactly where in all of this open source hardware, firmware, that the issue lies. If you don't know of one and you can research, that'd be great. Again, we really would love your help. There's very few chips out there these days that don't have hardware level compromise. Basically, the government put little listener chips on all of the motherboards for all of the main things, your phone, your computer, talking about Intel management engine or Adobe PSP. Raspberry Pi has one I forget the name of all the time. So does Arduino. I don't know about the LilyGo. I don't think so. Like I've looked into the LilyGo chip. I've done a number of searches, but again, it's possible that something is coming across your feed that has not come across my my feed due to like suppression uh, I don't know it's just not coming across my feed or like I don't have time to notice it so again group effort here let me know specifically what you mean it's very hard to create a full stack like known good actually safe communications uh, stack, right? You can always say that chips in a general sense can be compromised, but until you have the specific like critical vulnerability that's been like actually documented, I, that's what I actually need to take this as a serious like stack level, you know, dismissal. There's a lot of people on the internet that just kind of want to dismiss everything that anyone ever says which is not my jam. Like there needs to be a specific like documented case of actual compromise on this stack in order for me to take this seriously.